This is Danielle here with Australia's own James Oz. How are you doing? Awesome, Danielle. Thanks. Okay, so James is currently playing the three thousand shootout, three thousand dollar buy-in shootout, uh, and I thought I'd talk some strategy with him if he. He will, of course. Yeah, yeah. I've just been trying to think in the last ten minutes about shootout strategy. Oh, so you've not you've not thought up till now? I've been a bit asleep at the wheel, trying to get my fantasy teams in. Ah, but, yes, uh, he did go very down. It's especially important in this tournament, actually. Right. Okay. To be paying attention. Strategy point number one: put the phone down and pay attention. Ah, uh, you did go very high in the fantasy. Uh, does that put pressure on you? Uh, in a way, but uh, there's already a lot of pressure that I put on myself, and I do enjoy the pressure. I would say I feel like I've been under pressure most days in my poker career, and uh, so I embrace it and look forward to trying to justify that price. Mm -hmm. Okay, so back to this strategy that I really want to talk about, because, you know, shootout tournaments aren't that common, you know, compared to others. Uh, Tell me, do you play differently to start with than towards the end when you've got obviously less people at your table? Yeah, so I think that I think the key with the shootout tournaments is that you have to play your opponents more so than any other tournament. I mean, there's no like bigger picture in mind where you have to be thinking about your table might change or all this sort of thing. So I think shootout tournaments really reward versatility and mm -hmm. strategy. And if you are too rigid in the way you're thinking about the game, if you only use a certain size in every situation, or you're thinking too much about the maths, I just think that the best shootout player is going to be someone who can tailor their strategy to each player at the table, because it's more of a, you've got to beat each specific player less, which is not so much the case in a normal tournament. Right, so how much of your maths do you leave behind when you're playing a shootout? I mean, the fundamentals are there, but quite a lot. And I think you also try to have a bigger picture in mind of like how you're going to get the chips, like where you're, how your seat draw looks and what that means for like, yeah, who you're going to try to target. Sometimes you might really put more pressure on someone than you would in a normal situation. And, and then also, I mean, something that I like to do is mix up my t timing and how uh, quickly that I act. So I think you get some guys, obviously you get the full range of players at the World Series and some guys um, will respond differently if you put pressure on them with quick uh, actions and but other times if you get really good online players, oh, really good um, high level, high stakes players, then you've got to probably be a bit more conservative than you normally would be and chill out. And don't get too impatient to win all the chips too fast. I think that's another thing that probably can happen. You can win dirty in this sort of a format. You don't have to take big chances because you have to win the table. Um, so yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of nuances I think in this. So what do you think? How do you think you're going to go in this tournament? Are we going to see you win another World Series of Poker Race like last year? Because you know I missed last year, so I've got to be here to watch it this year. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I'm feeling good about things. I won't jinx myself, but um, I'll give my I'll, I'll get the most out of myself, and we'll see where the cards land. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to. Uh, I'm really excited about this series. Good, good. Well, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. <laughs> Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Oi, oi, oi. I'm out of it today. <laughs> Go to PokerNews.com for all your more strategy and all of your the World Series of Poker 2018 updates.